YouTube, what's going on? Solution for the solution kicks. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and tap that notification button so you know when I'm dropping another one of these things. And YouTube can be a part of the Mighty Four Kicks Brigade. It is September 1st. And yes, Rod Steel. Shout out to Rod Steel. I am dropping the video immediately as this news came upon me. Actually, this came out yesterday and I was not paying attention to sneakers at the moment. I saw it this morning. So you're getting this video in real time in regards to me. So yesterday there were some pictures that went out that people were saying are possibly the Jordan 3rd. Now, I'm gonna say it is, okay? And it's all marketing. So you're probably wondering, hey, Solution, you're talking about the Jordan 3rd, but why do you have a Jordan 11, a Jordan 5, a Jordan 13, and a Jordan 4 up here? We all know, once uh, Jordan brand puts the bread treatment on a sneaker, people are gonna automatically take interest, whether the sneaker sells out or people like it, but obviously they're going to buy it, all right? Because this, this colorway is iconic, all right? Once you put the bread treatment on a sneaker, it automatically gets some energy infused to it. So what better way to jump this particular silhouette off by put, giving it the bread treatment? Now, if it came out in you know, a, a bright orange and white. People kind of like, eh, whatever. But being that it's in the bread treatment, people are now going, hmm, hmm. Now, if you look at the sneaker, you get to see that they're keeping some of the elements, well, one key element from the Jordan, and that is that uh, that plastic arc support where they kind of cut away the arc support and it's exposed, but this time it's not exposed, it's just recessed in there. I think that is one of the, um, the more noticeable features of the people were really uh, kind of interested in that so they brought that back there in the sneaker now the um the lines and stuff like that and the the kind of design on that is pretty clean but i've also heard people say this has a very team jordan look to it i don't know all right uh, we know just from history just from the historical aspect of it a lot of the later released jordans that he did not wear take traction years later the appreciation for that sneaker comes years later so we really can't definitively say that this sneaker is going to pop right away he did really well because some of the collaborations they had they didn't try to bring back um a, a lot of the the concepts from the early sneakers the breads the cements and stuff like that they did the black cat which is um it's pretty popular it's a fairly easy sneaker to to, to get a hold of if you want it um, it's kind of redundant for me because I have the black hat four. There's no reason for that, but not a bad looking sneaker. Now, will this sneaker take off like this? Because we know we had the, the Zion and um, a couple other PEs that came out with that sneaker as well that people like. I, I can't remember who the player is that had kind of the animal pack at look to his, but a lot of people really like that sneaker. It's um, it's a hoop sneaker. Just like these were hooping sneakers, but then they became fashionable later on. I will say this from my standpoint, my feet do not agree with uh, hoop technology sneakers of this time. Um, it, 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 they just don't agree with me. The, um, what was that? Like the cool concept with the, you know, no laces and you pull the strap to cinch it down. Just a little too narrow for my foot. I don't have a really wide foot, but just a little too narrow. So they had like the, the Kane Corso uh, red colorway, whatever it's something Corso. I like those, I actually purchased them and I took them back because I was like, I don't have time to break in the sneaker in like that. I don't wear my sneakers enough to actually really, really appreciate um, having a sneaker on like that and I'm in pain. Well, this particular release right here, I'm not sure what it's gonna do. I'm not sure what people are gonna take with this sneaker. Will, will it pop? Will it not? Y'all let me know. Is this, a, is this a brick so far? It, will this be a sneaker once you get it in hand, as we like to say, um, you actually garner appreciation for it? Because what's funny is, this sneaker was not well received. The 13 was not well received. I remember that. I was in my, uh, my early 20s in Germany when this released, and I can't remember the magazine. I think it was Rat Pages or something. They were not feeling this, and people were talking about this, uh, where we have the infrared right here. People weren't feeling that. Um, this sneaker, instant classic. You know, Mike at his height, he hadn't won a championship yet. This one, clear cut, 
he was the man, not this colorway, but we're talking about the silhouette. And obviously, you can't say anything wrong about this one, okay? You know, the Bread 11, it really the Playoff 11, a must have in your collection. These two actually, and believe it or not, this sneaker right here, I'm probably going to be letting go. I wore it once and I suffered. It is an eight and a half, and it is my fault that I got eight and a half because. I was tired and I did not get up in time and this was the sneaker I was able to get. It sat on my shelf for almost um, going on into a year and a half and I actually put it on and a lot of times I can wear an eight and a half and fours but this time I, I couldn't do it. So if you need an eight and a half and a braid four worn once, receipts in the box, let me know. I'm going to let this sneaker go. It hurts me, all right, because I know I won't be able to get it for a very, very long time, more than likely. But I'm gonna have to let that go. So, what's your take on the later releases of the Jordan silhouettes? Do you really like them? Um, do you just view them as bricks right away? Because what a lot of young people don't realize is that a lot of these did not sell the way you think they sold. You know, when they came out, because people were wearing other sneakers. The, the sneaker market was very, very diverse. Very diverse. Some of the brands that you really don't talk about right now we're doing really well there was a lot of competition for nike jordan brand at the time so you had a lot more to pick from and a lot of people were kind of thumbing their nose at the prices at the time and so some things actually hit sales and outlets and believe it or not and people don't like to admit that because now the sneaker is in demand and you know you got to look at it from an art perspective as well where when that piece of work is created, it's, ooh, that's interesting. But later on, as you see that pieces of those, you know, when it gets reproduced, you see it less and less, the more you want it, the more it becomes in demand. And that's basically what happens with sneakers when done well. Okay, you don't need a story behind it. You don't need a collaboration to put the sneaker. It's just the sneaker has to be done well, created properly, um, nice features to it. And with me, I'm, I'm getting older. The, the comfort factor plays uh, a lot into what I'm going to put on my feet. I, I love retro Jordans, but remember, we're talking 80s, early 90s technology, cushioning from a standpoint, and it's just not that comfortable. Most of them, all right? But we have to have them, we love them, and it's a call back to our, our youth. So yeah, yeah, I'm not sure if this is a sneaker that's coming out um, if it's really that, is it a prototype? Um, we know with the Union 4s that dropped, we saw a prototype, which actually looked better, by the way, in my opinion. I'm still not sold on that release. Um, the hype craze over it, eh, whatever. So we know how the later um, released uh, Retro Jordans come along and people are like, I'm not really, uh, I'm not sure. But I think with them putting the bread colorway on it, the sneaker may get some interest in it. And they probably got a collaboration working or a PE for someone that um, is really going to take off from there. But drop down in the comment spot. Let me know what you think. Let's talk about it. Are you really checking for this sneaker? Do you think it's a prototype? Do you think it's a reach or something that's going to grow on you? Or it's like, hey, those are trash. Let me know down in the comment section. And you know I like to comment. Well, I like to reply to you all and get your points of view. As long as it's in good taste. I can't stress that enough. As long as it's in good taste. But I'm Solution for the Solution Kicks. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe. And like I always say, it's not about how much you pay for the sneaker. It's why you pay that much. And I'm out of here. Boom.